Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Bowling off with cricket, West Indies test coach Andre Coley admits that the opening test against England at Lords last week was always going to be a challenge for his young, inexperienced team. The West Indies went down by an innings and 114 runs to the English less than an hour into day three in what was a farewell test for pacer Jimmy Anderson. The Caribbean men struggled with the bat in both innings, losing, losing a combined 20 wickets for just 257 runs. Coley, in looking towards the second test at Trent Bridge on Thursday, said there were lessons learned. We, we admit that the um, side we have, um, you know, it's, it's young and emerging. Um, and as you mentioned before, uh, there's always a lot surrounding um, a large test match. Um, but uh, we, we, we are keen, uh, we are still very positive um, about how we are approaching the second test. Everybody's in good spirits. You know, we've been catching up with the players one one on one. And this will really be the first time that we'll be settled as a squad. There's been quite a bit of activity on and off the field leading up um, to the first test. Um, and it's been a lot, I can imagine, for some of our players to have been able to absorb. Um, so, so, as I said before, massive learning for everyone, um, players and staff. Um, and we, we, are, we are still very positive as we head to Nottingham. West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite, in his post-match interview, had urged players to put the disappointment of the loss behind them and dig deep. The West Indies fielded, fielded a team with five of the top seven batters having never played a test at Lords. Now Argentina defended their Copa America title with a one extra time win over Colombia in the final at the Hard Rock Stadium on a Sunday night in Miami, USA. The start of the game was delayed for over an hour due to fans' attempt at getting into the stadium without tickets. The teams were locked at nil all after regulation time. Substitute Lautaro Martinez scored the all-important goal in the 112th for the Argentines, who secured a record 16th hold on the title. They were previously tied with Uruguay on 15 titles. Some netball now. The Kingston Hummingbirds secured the final spot in the last four of the Red Stripe Flavors Netball Elite League after beating out St. Anne Orchids in their final preliminary round game on Sunday at the Lille Robinson Courts. With the winner assured of a spot in the semi-finals, the Hummingbirds showed why they deserved their place in the final four as they took a 12-11 lead after the first quarter. They opened a four-point goal lead in a four-goal lead in the halftime break, going into the interval 25-21. A 13-goal third-quarter performance saw the Hummingbirds lead 38-33 at the end of the 15-minute period before they held on for a 52-43 win. The Hummingbirds will play tabletoppers Manchester Spurs in the Final Four after the latter's victory over the St. Catherine Racers in the top of the table clash. The Spurs showed their superiority from the opening whistle before coming away 43-36 winners. The second semi-final will see the Racers playing the St. James Sharps. The semi-finals are set for Friday. And preparations are underway as the Jamaica Lacrosse Association gets ready for the Girls Under 20 Championship in Hong Kong, China next month. Head coach of the Girls Under 20 team, Taylor Irwin, says she's impressed with the level of commitment from the team. From the start, they've, they've been all in. Um, as you can see, <laughs> uh, they've been through an intense training. It's been only five days and we have 10 more days to go. So I'm excited to see the outcome at the end. Uh, there is also an objective in mind for Irwin that she hopes to achieve with the team competing at the championship. I can count on two hands, we're not at 10 yet, um, but the amount of girls that have received scholarships already to go and play in the States. So we're going to continue that work. Um, my goal is to have 100% of the girls um, going to school overseas. The championship runs from August 15 to 25. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shimela? Thank you, Jordan. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, good afternoon.